वेलकम एवरी वन टू दिस सेशन सो टूडे वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस सर्किट सो लेट रीड आउट द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द वोल्टेज वी एक्स दिज वोल्टेज एंड वी वाई दिज वोल्टेज फॉर द बिलो गिवेन वैल्यूज ऑफ रजिस्टर वैल्यूज ओके सो माइंड यू डोंट हरी राइट के सी एल एंड के वी एल्स Uh, while finding this type of uh, circuits uh, as you, we can see that this is a closed phase right so here definitely uh, some current will flow through this closed circuit but if you see this resistance r4 does it make any closed path let uh, like please think this is a ground this is uh, like zero potential but here this is not grounded right so actually r4 is uh, making no closed loop path and we can you can think in this way as well uh, if some current is flowing through this path right if some current is flowing through this path but it is like it is not making any closed right if 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 there is a grounded path so it will make in this way in this fashion right or in this fashion but here this r4 is uh, like does that doesn't make any closed loop path so if r4 r4 haven't any closed loop path then the current through i4 like I current through I four is always zero, right? Current through R four is always zero. So if the current through R four is zero, then the voltage drop across R four is also zero. Like V R four is zero into R four, and R four is a finite value. Like R four here is two ohm, so there will be zero. So if if the voltage drop across r4 is zero then vy definitely be at zero voltage right so let uh, let me rewrite uh, draw redraw the circuit again this is r2 this is r1 and this is on fold source and this is short circuit to the ground right and this is our r3 so this is our vy point so vy is nothing but zero potential i think you get it right we don't uh, we don't have to hurry to write kcl and kvls first uh, uh, see the circuit carefully and and uh, find the like closed loop path for all the component uh, so the so, so the circuit becomes so simple so this is zero volt and here we can see single only one current component is flowing through this path and we can simply do the voltage division as well so the so the overall current passing through this let's say i total i total is nothing but total resistance all the resistance is corrected in series so on volt divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 right this is our total current flowing through this path flowing through this closed loop so on volt divided by r1 is nothing but 2 R2 is 1 and R3 is 3. So this is on point on over 6 volts. So if this is like sorry, this is on by 6 ampere, right? Current. So the voltage drop across R1 will be R1 times this current. So uh, and this is this is our zero volt, right? and and the voltage drop across r3 let vr3 first voltage drop across r3 is nothing but r3 into this it right and this is nothing but this potential minus this potential right so we have vy minus let this is vp vp so it will be this is zero so this will be minus vp right and the vr3 value will be uh, r3 value is 
into it values on over 6 and this is nice thing about our vp let make it equation number 1 and if we apply kcl we will have 1 volt equals all the voltage drops across all the resistance right so 1 volt equals r1 r1 is 2 times 1 over 6 current this is vr1 plus voltage drop across r2 this is nothing but r2 times it this is actually let 1 over 6 is common like same current is flowing right so 1 over 6 is common ok ok sorry sorry we, we have do it previously right so that we can get this value and then uh, so let let me rewrite all those equations so this will be the voltage across r3 the voltage across r2 will be let vr2 will be this voltage minus 0 let this is v x this is nothing but vx minus vy this is nothing but vx minus 0 it is vx and this is nothing but the current through the r2 into r2 resistance r2 resistance is 1 so this is nothing but 1 over 6 volts so we can see that uh, vx is vx is 1 over 6 volts so this is nothing but 0 0.167 volts right and our vy was previously calculated is 0 volts so we have calculated vy and vx so let vy is our 0 volts and vx is 0 0.167 volt right so our option 2 is the correct answer so no need to write this uh, like this value in this case right if we have we have we have to find this voltage we can write the uh, voltage drop across r3 equation and we will get the get this voltage as well so you no need to do this part okay you no need to do this part for this particular problem i think uh, yeah, you have get you have gained some knowledge from this video and how to solve this type of problem uh, while avoiding writing so much kcl and kvls by looking uh, like first uh, by looking the first impression uh, to this circuit so you can easily like reduce the circuit in this way thank you everyone if you like the video you can subscribe our channel thank you